The elder flowers started blooming here about three weeks ago, right in time for the summer solstice, and their sweet scent filled the air, and I was so excited to get outside and harvest some. I love everything about elder trees, from the flowers and berries to their beauty on the landscape, their medicinal benefits, and even the folklore surrounding them. This winter, I had tried a elderflower and rose sparkling beverage, which inspired me to make my own with some fresh elderflowers and fresh rose petals. So for a few days, I was harvesting fresh rosebuds and petals. There is something so enchanting about roses. Their beauty and scent make them one of the most loved flowers, and I really enjoy utilizing both the flowers and the rose hips for different herbal creations. These wild roses grow on the edge of a nearby forest, and since I don't see as much of them around, I only harvested a very small amount. So to make up for the lack of wild roses that I harvested, I was able to pick some blooms from a family member's garden and also picked a few blooms from a small bush that we have at home. And this gave me enough petals to add into a simple syrup. I think it is so suiting to create a summertime syrup with elderflowers and roses to add into a herbal soda because in the autumn I make a syrup with elderberries and rose hips and also use this syrup to make elderberry soda. So I am excited to be able to smell, taste, and enjoy the flowers and fruits of these plants together through seasonal syrups. So once I had all of my flowers gathered and rinsed off, it was time to measure them out. I had a half of a cup of rose petals and packed them in tightly. For the elder flowers, I removed all of the stems, and this is done more easily using a fork. This is the same thing that I do for removing elderberries from the stems when they are in season, and it just saves so much time. And then I had another tightly packed half of a cup with elderflowers. So all together I ended up using one tightly packed cup of both of these flowers. Then I boiled a cup of water and let it cool for about three minutes before pouring it over these lovely flowers. And then I let this mixture sit overnight. The next day, I came back to strain the flowers from the infusion, and then I added in one cup of honey, which I gently warmed over the stove in a bain-marie. I mixed it well and bottled it up, and once this syrup was completed, it was finally time to make my elderflower and rose soda. I started with some ice, rose petals for some extra rosy goodness, two tablespoons of my syrup, a squeeze of lemon juice, seltzer water, and then I topped it off with some elderflowers just for fun, and then one wee little rosebud. This created this delicately sweet and floral soda that was so refreshing and rejuvenating, which is perfect for this time of year. So thank you so much for watching today's video and have a lovely summer.